Hey guys, so I've been running into some issues with my drone for the last couple months. I haven't been using it much, so that was alright. But basically I had to uh, control it with my phone because my remote was not turning on. So I started having troubles with the remote and it was like sometimes turning on and sometimes not so I thought the, bu the button was faulty or something so uh, as long as it kept working I just kept using it and then at some point I was like okay I'll just do it with the phone but it's quite restricting so I decided today to try to fix it and open the remote because warranty is voided and it was like in water and stuff so I just had to try to figure out on my own and I came up with a kind of Mike Gaver-like solution, but it's working. The important is that it's working. It's not going to be very handy to just like, if I go somewhere, because I have to like bring my multimeter to turn it on, but it turns on. So here is now how I have to turn on my remote for my drone. So. I have a little cable here, you can see that I kind of had to remove the button here and the thing that is underneath. Uh, I have this cable here, so what I need to do is I need to turn this on. This is going to be tricky with one hand, but... So what I have to do is turn this on. Put the black one here and then use the red one here in there. You can see that it's, it's, it's like a bit tricky to find the right spot, but there you go. And then it's on. And if I turn this one on, it should be green here in like a couple seconds there we go it is of course also turning back off using the same technique so here and then oh no yeah of course here i did that mistake so i really have to use the black one here and the red one there because there's a diode and diodes only goes one way There you go, it's turning off. So I believe the main reason why uh, I'm in, I ran into this problem is because uh, this remote uh, ended up in a river uh, as myself and like pretty much all my stuff. So uh, there's like oxidation and stuff. So if you ever drop your remote in the river or if it gets wet or anything and you start having troubles, well you can if you know a bit about electronics and how like buttons and uh, grounding works you might be able to figure it out and so yeah uh, hopefully i get to get back to doing some good footage some good drone footage here and on my future travel all right i hope it was fun to see that little something i did today and uh, thank you for watching Remember that if it's easy, it's not funny. And see you in the next one.